country, which can survive also with salty water in the desert. City you can see outside, it's also sitting under the ground or under the desert, six levels under the ground. The third wow. ground, it's connecting everything. And For free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The museum has yeah. house. It was the traditional Qatari house, company house. Uh, it was place where they started with the oil industry. So inside company house, uh, we can see a little bit of the history. And it's not the artificial cooling, it's the natural cooling made by hot and cold water. And the cover was designed to soak. It does what? Absorb heat? Yeah. Worn only for special occasion like wedding. It might be in three colors: brown, black, or white. With this gold always on the side. The most expensive I have seen it was over fifty thousand euro. What? Yeah, but handcrafted fabric with real gold on the side makes the part. Yeah, usually you can see them sitting here. 
then the scarf might be in different colors. The color has no meaning, it's just the fashion. Called the Gutra. And then we have this ring, which is called Agal. It comes from the past, camels. Mm -hmm. Camels are used to run. That's why you have to bound them front legs. And one day in the morning, when they've what been still do? living in the desert, one guy took it off, didn't know what to do with this. So he put it on the head, and so it became fashion. Wow. Characteristic really? for Qataris are these four pieces, which are hanging them in the back. Wow. Very interesting. Four Qataris, <laughs> always pocket here on the left. It might be like this, all traditional way, like shirts. Uh, in the winter time, the gutra is also changing the color and it's made from uh, cashmere, yes? Just to keep the warm on the head. For the ladies, we have the long dress abaya, an example here, an example here, covering the whole body. Under abaya, they are wearing normal dresses as we, or the Qatari ladies very often, the loose dress called jalabiya black color came from Saudi Arabia. Before, the abayas were more colorful and you can still see them in the museum. And these days also, the young generation of ladies is trying to change it. So you can see abayas, maybe not in pink or red, but in beige, light blue. Then the head they are covering with scarf. It's called shila. With shila, some of them are also covering face. So you will not see them, but they will still see you very well. Some of them are wearing uh, and covering face with burqa. Then you will see only eyes. And some of them are not covering at all. If they are covering or not, depends from them. It's not the religion, it's not the mass, it's not the law. Usually it's the tradition in the family. Why black and white? Well, we still have to remember it's a desert country. It was Bedouin nationality living in the tents in the desert. It was not safe like these days. So men were the only ones wearing uh, and working outside during the day. Wearing white in the sun, it's more comfortable, yes? Ladies were staying at home, going out in the evening, wearing dark clothes in the night. They were not to see, so they were staying safe. That's mm -hmm. why black is white. Okay, interesting. Nice restaurant with homemade food, always crowded. Mm -hmm. Here are all the souvenirs. For me, you know, as a Christian, for the Christmas, Christmas bubble. And the lamps. In the evening, it will be cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're down to the left. Same but different. This is most popular, you know? Same, same but different. This one, it looks like old 10. I live here for only 10 years. Mm -hmm. I live here for almost 10 years. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Always in the evening, the ladies are selling their dresses. Used in the past, of course, for hunting. Did they? like a home. Uh, yeah. Yes, now it looks like decoration, but in the past it was useful to dry the clothes or just to keep the foot in shaded area. So the white animals were not contaminated. in November up to the end of March. Outside of Doha in Shahania they have a camel racing truck and it's hmm 
to win is always so expensive card. the same as the one here on my right. This is how it soup was looking in the past. Inside they are another Yes, welcome. Cup of tea, T-shirt. Yes, you can start. Hello, welcome. Oh, even the welcome. cup. The yes, which one? Yeah, we are yeah. looking for items. Oh. Videos everywhere. <laughs> Culture is mixed again. Coffee is coffee, but tea is always has to be. I don't know why. Dip it in this, it's really good area. Iran, India mostly, Indonesia, and back to here. So we have a lot of uh, mixed cultures. So there is three different uh, rice types. This is normal jasmine, which is white rice, saffron rice, and dill rice. This is the Irani, authentic Irani style. Yeah, that's what it's about. I love this apple. Actually, this restaurant is so good. Oh, bye! Oh, <laughs> 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 Here we go. So, it's a restaurant. Hello. 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 Thank you. 